I was very much involved in the ratification of the Lisbon Treaty, which was the last big set of changes to the European Union, which introduced a number of, uh, of modifications, uh, set up uh, an external service, and so on. This was highly contentious. I myself believed very strongly that these were improvements in the way the European Union works, and also improvements in the way that democracy was brought to the European Union process. For example, that treaty was the first time that national parliaments were given a role in the EU process alongside the European Parliament and not being treated as inferiors. So I think that was a good step forward. And I went last week to a meeting in Brussels, which was a joint meeting with the European Parliament and the 27 national parliaments. And that was, I think, a, a useful innovation. Just over 10 years, I was one of the first set of appointments made by the Appointments Commission after the 1999 reform. Uh, and when it went into action, it produced a first list of 14 appointed peers, which was not in the gift of the Prime Minister, as it had already always been in the past, but which was a, an objective choice from just over 3,000 people who applied and put their names forward, and a short list were interviewed, and 14 of us were appointed. I'll choose, if I may, someone who's not British, because, but who came across my path when I was at the United Nations, and that was Vaclav Havel, who became the president of Czechoslovakia and then of the Czech Republic when the country split up after the communist regime was chucked out. Uh, and this was a man of unbelievable achievement who restored democracy to a country which had been oppressed first by Hitler then by Stalin and the communist regimes, and who, by his own plays that he wrote, his satirical plays, which mocked the communist regime and which got him locked up for lengthy periods of time, and then by the example he set as the first president of the new democratic uh, Czech Republic, made a massive contribution, not only in his own country, but throughout Eastern Europe. And because Eastern Europe then became members of the U European Union, it just has transformed uh, the whole of democracy in the whole European continent, which after all saw the greatest sins against democracy throughout the 20th century. I'd say it's essential because I believe that a bicameral parliament is a much more effective uh, one than a unicameral parliament. Some countries have only one. Uh, we have two, most countries have two, and having a revising chamber is extraordinarily important uh, so that you can, you can repair the omissions or the commissions of the House of Commons and make them think again.